Welcome back folks. In today's video, I'm going to talk about using Evernote on your mobile phone. The intent of this video is to showcase the quick, easy tricks while using this app and also understand how to navigate through the app on your mobile phone. For those who are new to this app, Evernote, this is a cross-platform application or a platform which is available almost on every device like Windows, Mac, iOS, and even iPad. It's a great digital tool, or you may call it as a second brain, where you can take notes, perform your task management, project management, be a recipe keeper, or even jot down various different ideas and many, many more things you can do it over here. I've also done some earlier videos on this application, Evernote, and I will leave the links of those videos in the description section below. You please feel free to check it out at any given point of time. My name is Anshul Kumar and I make YouTube content and the name of my YouTube channel is NextGen Digital. The content what I create is on digital transformation, personal growth and increasing your productivity at work as well as home. If you're new to this channel, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Just for your information, I make these publications once a week on YouTube every Thursday. So hope you like this content also. So without any further delay, let's start looking at Evernote on mobile phone and how to understand and learn the quick tips and tricks on it. We capture information, our ideas, web clippings, and make notes in multiple ways, like jotting down on a piece of paper, putting down our thoughts in a diary, create a sticky notes, or even going digital while using apps like Evernote or similar applications. However, the key is not only to capture your notes and ideas inside a digital device, but capture it quickly and capture it with minimum clicks on your device. So here you are looking at my Evernote iOS app. Evernote has made the mobile app extremely easy to use. And like everyone says, it's very minimalist. As you can see, I have multiple notes and also notebooks that has notes within. All the way down, there are four buttons for easy navigation. Starting from left, there is notes, then there is search. Then you have the plus button for creating notes in multiple ways. And I'll share that with you very shortly. Next one is a star button where we will have all our shortcuts as well as recent notes. And then our profile where you can look into the different uh, sections of your account what has been created by. We can create a notebook by clicking the plus button next to notebooks and give a name to that notebook. Let's say personal. Let's verify now that this notebook is created. I will search this and here it comes. Now you can capture notes in multiple ways. First is to use the plus button all the way down and start writing your note. Let's say this is a test note. Secondly, we can also use the native microphone within your mobile app and dictate the note into Evernote. It's really easy, seamless, as well as very accurate. Here I go. This is a test note I'm creating using the native microphone application within Evernote. Period. The third easiest way to capture your notes is to use your widgets. I'm sure you are aware, but just as a recap, to activate your widget, you can go all the way down and click on edit. And then you may add any of the apps that is available for the widget functionalities. I can use any of the Evernote functionalities right from the widget itself, like make a note, take a picture, or even search all of my notes.
Next great way to capture notes in Evernote is to use your Siri, which is a built-in voice application by Apple. You can capture notes like this. Create a note in Evernote. What do you want it to say? I'm creating a test note using Siri on my Evernote application, period. Next paragraph. This note is for demo purposes only, period. To confirm, you'd like your note to say, okay, Evernote created a note, untitled. The last but not the least way to capture notes with an Evernote is using a third party application, which is known as IFTTT. What it means is if this, then that. It's a, it's a great integration application, which uh, integrates various different apps besides Evernote also. And it helps you to connect all of your different applications and devices. When you sign up for a free account, you can turn on applets that help your applications and devices work together. So let's check it out how the IFTTT works in creating a note within Evernote. Some of the other features which are really useful within Evernote is that you can make your note as your favorite or a shortcut like Evernote calls it for easy access on your iPhone and start working on your PC or Mac wherever you left on your iPhone. You can also set up a reminder for any note right from your mobile device like this. One of the most sought after feature in Evernote is using tags. Use tags for multiple notes and you can access quickly like this. I hope you liked this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and also visit my website, mynextgendigital.com. I leave the link below in the description section also. I will see you next week again. Until then, have a safe week and take care.